Good morning, everybody out there. So, um, I get on the internet this morning. And I looked at a few things. I noticed they, uh, you know, one thing I want to say right now. What is the obsession of watching sick shit, crazy videos? Um, remember how they said that you'd probably never see a public execution on television. And they showed this Oscar Grant killing. I remember months ago, they showed some guy being beheaded a long time ago when the war first started. They showed Saddam. Um, we see people, real people, die constantly. So I'm looking at my videos and I'm reading the comments because I want to start videotaping myself in these comments because some of the shit people say to me is fucked up and some of the shit so you know I'm going through this video and there's this one video where I was pissed off because our soldiers was making fun of some little kid in Iraq so I'm looking at all the shit that is like pretty much linked to and related to and I'm reading the comments and I follow the trail and there was supposed to be some little kid, 10 year old kid cutting a man's head off. And it fucking intrigued me. I'm like, I can't believe this shit. It's not real. It can't be real. Some little 10 year old kid cutting someone's head off that's alive. So I do a little research and shit. Then I think about it. The fuck are you doing? just to look at some sick shit. I, and then I started looking at what the page was saying. Jihad, this, and I'm like, oh shit. Where curiosity, you can't even go look for some shit because you're scared you're gonna be in some database and shit. I like to go on vacations and shit. I don't wanna be at the airport and say, oh no, you looked at this website. What kind of world are we living on? And last month it was um what was I trying to look at last month? The Pain Olympics. Some shit like that. I'm like, this is not real. And the man sat there and cut his thing off with a little hatchet. Then two kids in the sandbox. Two girls in a cup. The man and the horse. I mean, why? Why? What? I mean, it's. And I said to myself, you looked at the shit. You looked at. You looked at. Oh, one more thing. I'm extremely paranoid. And half of us who do these videos look right into the camera. And then we move our head left and right and we be looking right into the camera. You done gave the United States government your retinal scan. Don't have them give you another one. Your whole face is scanned. <laughs> Every angle of your face is scanned, digitized. See, when you try to stand for something, we always fall for something. Understand the technology in which we play with. To get that, to get that scan, the facial scan. And every single one of us who do these videos have done it. Oh, except for Willie Pete <laughs> and a few other people who just would rather be anonymous. 
But a long time ago, somebody said something to me. If you're doing something wrong, that's the only thing you got to worry about. But if you ain't doing nothing wrong, be afraid. Be very afraid. Because they got that scan. They're out there making plastic masks and shit of us right now. Mission Impossible. Oh, um, they're sticking me for copyrights on some of my videos and shit. But I've been going through people's videos. I'm like, okay, this girl is dancing. Hey, that girl doing a little skinny dance or whatever the hell she was doing. She was dancing. I'm like, wait a minute. She dancing, playing, what's that dude's name? Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, he was on that movie with, uh, he was on that movie with, uh, oh, I don't forgot the name of that movie. He was in the movie Soul Man. He was the one that died. <laughs> they playing this guy. They playing this guy singing in her video, and she just doing her thing, you know, in the video. I put Aretha Franklin in the video. They shut me down. Bam! I'm pretty sure that old ass Aretha Franklin song was the bomb and all that, but she was they was she was playing some new music in the background. What about all these booty videos? You think they got the rights to be dancing and shaking their booties? What about the copyright infringement on that shit? I said it. Yeah, but but today. It was sick. I was really looking to see if a 10-year-old would cut off somebody's head. And I thought about it. I watched 24 Redemption. Oh, I said it. I'm going to get copywritten for saying 24 Redemption. But if I can strip down to my pants right quick and slap on an Al B. Sure song or some Martin Luther... <laughs> Martin Luther King speech and do the booty dance, it'll be all fine. Who the hell was she playing? Man! Ooh! It's on the tip of my tongue! And my videos can't show because they have substance. A woman can pick any damn song on it. Never made. As long as she's showing some skin. And da -da -da -da. She ain't got rights to fucking dance to that shit. No more than I had the rights to use Aretha Franklin in the background of a beautiful piece. Beautiful! Oh, wait, if somebody might have copyrighted that. Beautiful! What was that man's name? Mm, new guy, too. He sang that song, High. Not like, Hi, hello. It was like, Hi, you know, so high. Damn! It's a So this guy sings this song. She's dancing to it in the video, and it's playing clear. Because this was edited, just like mine. I'm like, they didn't music matches that, did they? What the hell is this? Man! I got some of this music, too. I can't even remember his name. How can I just look for the song? But remember I said, you've given them all your facial scans. Watch what website you go to, even in curiosity. Because I'm saying to myself, I really want to see this. Because I've been looking at this sick shit. I'm drawn to the crazy shit. I want to see how bad society is. It is nasty. If a 10-year-old kid can cut off somebody's head. And I, I wouldn't even know about it unless the man says, Oh, you defending these uh, record kids. Why don't you look and see that little Muslim boy cut off an American head? I'm like, what the fuck? I never heard of that. Life is bleak. And all we can do is run around and fucking kill each other. Where's the moral in this story? Ain't no fucking love. I guess we all been fucking too.